Hi guys, welcome, Dom here. Today, something a bit different. I'm gonna give you an, an insight into what some of the training is like with us, particularly in this current phase of training, where we're mixing up a little bit of weighted activity, primarily for the warm-ups, and then we're going a bit counter to what everyone else does. We're going more conditioning in the main workouts. The whole idea of this is that after this next 12 weeks, we're trying to rebuild that cardio, that ticker, that conditioning, that endurance, and obviously our machines, our bike, our ski, our rower, are part of that. I do have a treadmill, but I suck at running. But needless to say, that will be in the last part of today. So just go through part of the lap that I have access to. Um, simply as this, this is today's workout. Let's call it a warm up. You can do this as the warm up to the main event, which will be treadmill incline runs today, or you can do this as a workout in itself. So we're doing the warm-up. The warm-up is three rounds, three. We've already done one, and I'm struggling on the first one because I haven't picked up a decent weight other than the dumbbells or the kettlebells in about two or three weeks now after hitting um, some of those heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, and heavy benches, which is the last phase of my programming. So humbling it will be, and you will see we're gonna take some rests. So what are we up for? We're up for Start off, we've got 20 air squats. We're gonna go through, we're gonna get you to follow me in around. 20 air squats, nice and steady, not fast. From there, we're gonna grab a goblet. So, not a goblet, we're gonna grab ourselves a dumbbell, we're gonna do goblet squats, we're gonna do a set of six. That number six will continue through for everything else. We were using the barbell, and we're gonna go with the same weight. Now, I've already started with 60. Reality is, I should have been a bit more humble and gone to 50 or 40 and therefore moved a bit more fluidly, but it is what it is, we're gonna stay with this guy. We have then got six deadlift. We then go into six bent over row. We go into six hang clean. That's where the humbling part will happen for me. We then go into front squat. Now I suck at the front rack, so what you'll see is I'm gonna rack it in here, and I'm gonna do some zombie squats. So that way the bar is still up in my shoulder and it's gonna cause me to keep me up. Whereas if I do this, I have a tendency to roll forward. From there, we'll bring it out. It says push press, but I'm gonna try and do some relatively strict presses because that was one of the things that I was working on in the last block. And then finally, we'll rack it back, put it under the back, and we'll go for barbell squats. So without further ado, follow along. If you've got your own stuff at home, you can copy. I'm just gonna show you one round. I'm gonna turn up the tunes in the background so that way you can't hear me grunting. So let's go, air squats, goblets. Grab a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Six. Bent over rows, hang clean.
jungle, Shang Kling. for six barbell comes down to the floor six deadlift six bent over row six hang cleans if you are more fluid and you can get the clean right up finish each one you'll see with me I got it to here I can't hold it in the rack it's straight back down from there I rack the bar if you're good at the hang clean just clean it, sit there, go straight into your front squats. Maybe also too I could do that <coughs> if I didn't have 60 kilos, 40 kilos is probably better for this as a warm up. Either way, six front squats, six press or six push press, speed is entirely up to you. Final one, put the bar on the back, squat nice and deep, nice and steady. For six, everything is six. The warm up today is only three rounds. If you're doing this as a workout, you can go for six rounds and maybe, other than yapping to a video, you might wanna give yourself however long it takes you to do a round. Let's say it takes you two or three minutes, whatever that is, halve that and that becomes your rest period. As you fatigue, that means you'll take a bit longer your rest will be a bit longer, and then you can use that for a workout in itself. Today it is the warm up part two. We've got some incline, maybe not runs, but maybe some incline walks for intervals on the treadmill. And then the final thing is that we will go for a five minute isometric hold, plank for those who want to call it a plank. I like a hold where I'll alternate my hands into different positions, I may even go into a tripod at a couple of periods of time, but the whole idea is to accumulate five minutes 
that's today's workout. So, if you like what you see, please like, please subscribe, and even maybe just tell a friend. If you give this a go, video yourself, let me know how you go. Hopefully your front rack doesn't suck as much as me. Now, can you do this without the barbell? Yes, you can. You can take the dumbbell, obviously I've got a 25 kilo or 55 pounder, and you can take that and then maybe that's what you're going to use for your goblets, but maybe for the rest of the movements, you might drop it down to a 20 or a 15 kilo, like a 30 to a 40 pounder, and go through the motion, be a bit more fluid, a bit more touch and go with those. I've done this workout both ways. I've done it with the pair of 25s, sucks just as much, and I've also done it as we've seen today. So that's it. That's the workout. Have a go. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.